My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Can you see me way back here? This car is a mile long. What we have here is something really special. It's a 1976 Eldorado convertible. It's one of the last 200 convertibles made in America. Not just Cadillacs, it's one of the last convertibles made in America. It's the Bicentennial Edition. They made 200 of them. They wanted the last 200 cars to roll off the assembly line uh, to be this uh, special package. What it consisted of, they were all completely fully loaded. It's got all the options, and it has uh, red and blue pinstripes. Instead of black hubcaps, they're white. It has white interior with red piping, red carpet and dash, and it has a plaque on the dash saying it is one of the last 200. Now, I say it's the last convertible made in America. The other car companies quit making convertibles. Cadillac was the last one still making them. So again, not only the last Cadillac, but the last American-made convertible uh, for many years. I don't know when they started making them again, but at the time it was thought they're done. Uh, this car has 9,300 miles on it, one owner up until 2010. We got lots of documentation, including this uh, piece of paper. It is a certificate of authentication from Cadillac Motor Division. It certifies this is one of the last 200 identical production convertibles to be manufactured in the United States. Has the original owner's name, uh, the VIN number of this car. Uh, it was in California, that's the dealer that sold it. Along with that, we actually have a newspaper article or a copy of it when this gentleman bought the car back then, uh, bought it new, it actually made the newspaper. Here they are handing him the keys. And then here's the, uh, that same owner, many few decades later, standing next to the same car. Uh, in here, we've got registrations, a uh, pile of maintenance records, uh, all the stuff that comes in the glove box, more pictures. So it's lot, got lots of good documentation here. And you can go to volocars.com and you can look at the pictures top to bottom. You can read the description. And that is where you'll find the prices on all 200 of the collector cars that we offer for sale. Volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, the top is down. Let's go for a spin. Yep, 1976 Bicentennial Edition. I think this is the first one we've ever had here. They only made 200 of them, so obviously they're not exactly, uh, you don't see them everywhere. California car underneath is super clean. Uh, it is 9,300 miles. It's original, and a lot of original cars I've seen are just covered head to toe in surface rust, but this is nice and clean. The floors are black. Uh, the factory undercoat is still nice and black. Actually, in the middle of the car where it's not undercoated, has the factory primer in excellent shape. And then all the components are nice, like the front end, all the control arms and all the metal parts are nice, clean metal. There is a stack of receipts, and I just kind of was thumbing through them. It's your typical maintenance receipts. Uh, some of the rubber boots up front were replaced at one point. The brake booster was rebuilt at one point. Uh, you know, miscellaneous things like that. I can see some of the front end bushings uh, were replaced. So it's all in really nice shape. Nothing has been monkeyed with the bottom of the motor and the transmission, uh, which front wheel drive. So it's like all one unit on this one. The, the rear end, the trans, the motor is all together, but it's not even been spray canned over. It's original, it's clean. Uh, the exhaust system has the catalytic converter. Uh, from the muffler back is the muffler, tailpipe, and resonator. That looks like it's new, but it looks correct. Uh, these have disc brakes at all four wheels. Uh, the emergency brakes still hooked up. I still notice some of the assembly line markings. There's still tags on the rear springs. Uh, this has air shocks in the back. 
I think it has a self-leveler, I think. So underneath, the car is really clean for an original survivor. It's in really nice shape. The body is excellent. I mean, I was outside really eyeballing it. There's a couple tiny little dimples. I don't even remember where, but I mean, it's straight. There's no rust, no damage, no bubbling. I didn't see any cracking. Uh, so straight, clean body. It all fits really well. The paint claimed to be original. Uh, I believe it to be original. I didn't see any tape lines or overspray. Maybe they touched something up here or there. I don't know for a fact. I didn't buy the car new, but uh, claimed to be original paint. It is smooth and shiny. Now these are plastic fillers. This section right here is called the fillers. They just crack from age. We sold one of these, well no, not one of these, but we sold a Cadillac with 300 miles on it and the fillers literally had chunks missing. They just break. So they have been replaced. That's not due to miles, that's due to age. It's painted so nice, you wouldn't even know they were replaced if I didn't tell you. But that's not something you have to worry about doing on your own, it's already been done. Uh, this is the parade boot, they call it that, because you can sit on it and wave in the parades, the hard boot. It's a white convertible top, power top, in really nice shape. Uh, and all the chrome is really bright. The mirror on the other side has some pits on it, but the bumpers, the door handles, this mirror, uh, marker lights, all of this is just beautiful bright chrome. The grill is not pitted, emblem, all that's really nice. The rubber strips have a couple little nicks in them here and there. The pinstripe is not worn off. Uh, the hubcaps are in really nice shape. These are, uh, the name on them is American Classic, so it's a reproduction tire with the nice wide white stripe. Power antenna works. It's the original windshield and it's crystal clear. The stainless moldings are straight and shiny. Yeah, this has some freckles just on the top of it. The rubber is nice. Now it's a power trunk release, of course. These were fully loaded. Every, every option that was available is the way I understand it. So in here, uh, it's completely lined from the factory. I took the cover off the tire. It's one of them collapsible spares, never been used. So it's the ink on the tread, has the air bottle. And Cadillac actually gives you a wooden wedge. It's a wooden block that you put under the tire if you jack the car up. The jack, I don't think it's ever been used or out of the car. Now, it is still, what, 45 years old or so. The white leather is soft. It's not, it has a little dinginess to it. It's still 45 years old, so it's not because uh, of miles, it's just due to age. It has the red piping, red seat belts. I do think the carpet was replaced. It's a little bit different carpet, different than the floor mats, so that's been replaced. But power seats on both sides. This side reclines, power windows, power locks, power trunk. Has the uh, automatic headlight dimmers. Uh, has delay wipers, cruise control, climate control, tilt telescopic wheel, AM FM stereo with eight track player. The interior lights work. I checked all the cigarette lighters. They've never been used. The one in the dash has maybe been used once. Uh, something I did notice, the visors are gone. I think one of them may have broke or something and they removed them both. So I do not have the visors. Uh, red seat belts, which I think I mentioned. So getting back in the trunk, it also has the rubber Cadillac floor mat. Uh, the trunk rubber is original. Got a couple little nicks here, but it's soft. Trunk light works. And you'll see in a minute when I close it, it actually sucks the trunk down automatically. There's also a CD changer right here, and the remote for that's inside the glove box. And this is a bag for the hard boot. When you remove that, you slide it into there. There are two black things here. I think they're backup sensors. I didn't try them. I don't know if they work, but we're pretty sure that's what those are. The dash is really nice. The clock is working. There's no uh, cracks in the dash. The chrome vents are shiny. The lenses, the heater control panel, the knobs, all really nice. No cracks in the steering wheel. The door panels are really nice. On this, right below the armrest on this end here, it's a little like delaminated, like the vinyl. It's got a couple buckles in it. 
You have the outside temperature. Catch the hood before I miss it again. We missed it the last time around. 500 cubic inch. I think that is the biggest engine put in a car. Completely stock. Now, like I said, they maintain things. So there are some items like the radiator cap looks brand new, but it's the correct one. If they replaced anything, they replaced it with the proper uh, components. But it's all stock, all clean, uh, you know, really nice survivor. The smog equipment I noticed is still attached. The air is all hooked up. Has the hood insulation, squirters are hooked up. It even has the glass bottle for the washer fluid. So I think that's about it. You can go to volocars.com. I just gave you my impression of this big Cadillac. Watch it pull down. That's so you can stuff the extra bodies in there and it'll really pull it down tight. So anyway, uh, volocars.com, plenty of ways on there to contact our salesmen. If you have specific questions or concerns, feel free to talk to them. They'll help you the best they can. That's a lot of metal. <laughs> they can get this delivered to your driveway. They can help get you financed. If you enjoy watching the YouTube video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.